It's every Wednesday for the next four weeks. Hello and welcome to Team Fortress TV. You're joining me, Commander X, and Admirable with David Wynn on the stream. Admirable, why don't you intro in this game since you missed your cue? Wow, surprise, David. <laughs> no warning, he's doing a John here. Yeah, this is admirable. You guessed it. Commander X is here with me, David the Wynn, on the production, pulling no punches, throwing us in at the deep end for this ETF 12 Season 22, powered by Saloon.tf Premiership Week 6 fixture. And if you're wondering why it's Week 6 and Week 7, it's because Permzell is an admin. Not just an admin, but the head admin, and he plays for Reason Gaming, our first team tonight. And they're going to be playing off against The Last Resort on Sunshine and Granary Pro. And I just want to remind you all, or <laughs> point out to you if you don't know, there's actually going to be another game on the second stream, that's twitch.tv forward slash Team Fortress TV 2. And that starts 15 minutes after this one, 15 minutes from now. Lego versus Full Tilt with Turbo Tabs, Max and John. And that game is uh, really vital to the the uh, structure of the playoffs perhaps this one not so much but two fan favorites for sure commander x reason and the last resort uh yeah reason obviously sitting pretty high up on the table i think they've only dropped one map all season uh tlr have had a bit of a rockier road but they've had some disappointing losses and some like massive scalps so it'll be interesting to see which tlr we get tonight yeah the the public Definitely favouring uh, Reason on Saloon. I checked it earlier, it was like 88 to 12. I'm going to refresh to see what the latest odds are. It's actually got worse for them. 91% <laughs> of people think that Reason are going to win. 9% uh, there for the last resort. Even though they have like a 0.5 handicap, so if it's a draw, like TLR win us. But I think that's a good price, but what do I know anyway? We want to talk uh, about stats now, Commander X. You've, you've yeah. done some preparation. Yeah, where do you want to start? Mate, you're calling the shots. I'll oh just, uh, I've got the, the pain window open here. We can use Gentleman John's magic technology to communicate psychically, essentially. Yeah, this is, this is literally, you know, sort of next level, next generation sort of hybrid. Uh, so let's start with, let's just look at the team. Let's just get an idea of the rosters we're going to be seeing tonight. Uh, first one is going to be Reason Gaming. Uh, obviously, most people know them. Permzilla on Medic, Cadus on Demo, Captain, and Zebesai on Soldier. Zebesai now playing the rest of their league games after coming in uh, to replace Rising because of his unavailability for Dreamhack, and Happy Cool and Stark on Scout. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're being, uh, being bombed here. By Warher, yeah. We've got Max as well, joining our Mumble channel as well. Channel as well. It's all going off. Being but raided. Yeah, I'm, just, like... I'm just here to play my game. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing in here. Uh, we're we're like this, uh, this yeah. next stat. You see, see Cadis' uh, little stats in brackets there? Cadis is the number one demo man in terms of KD and in terms of KAD. What do you have to say about that, Warher, yeah? Uh, who's number one in terms of damage? We haven't got to that yet. <laughs> I just want no, yeah, no. I just, I just want to know these, these, uh, these other facts and numbers. I think you're probably fine. It's me, basically. So yeah, yeah. I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> At the end of the day, kills and you know, kills and deaths don't mean anything. Those are just numbers. At the end of the day, but the damage per minute is more than just a number. It's a way of life. Yeah, it really is. All right, see you fuckers later. Uh, I'll be back in about an hour, sucking on the tears of all the salty gamers that lost all their vintages and shit. Yes. <laughs> I look forward to that. Primzilla, actually, uh, number one now on the medic stats, too, for kills and assists per death. Anyway, Nox was uh, contesting him previously, but he's disappeared. Captain, uh, you know, asserting himself as the number two soldier in Europe, I guess, probably behind... Mike, I assume. Maybe Amity's um, been playing pretty good this season. But look at Zebesai's dog shit stats. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that makes him pretty much <laughs> the worst soldier in Prem by by the numbers. I think it's I think it part of it like is just the way they play. Reason play a very sort of safe gameplay, which sort of explains Permzilla's uh dominant stats, you know, low deaths, like averaging six deaths a game is pretty insane. Uh 
and they just use sort of Zembasaurus that sacrificial lamb to try and open up the playing field, and that obviously ruins his KD completely. And their scouts like don't necessarily take too many risks. I think that's kind of illustrated by the fact they have uh, very impressive KD ratios, but they don't necessarily do that much damage. Like they don't have to do the damage. They've got these beast players all around them, Kira's Captain and Zebo, to set up the frags for them. And that's why they're number one. Yeah, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see. Um, obviously, TLR like to play really aggressive. So if Reason's defensive playstyle can stand up to the test of TLR, let's go through TLR's roster while we're here. Whoop. There we go. Smooth. Smooth transitions. I think we need, you know, like in PowerPoint, you can do like the sound effects, like the race car, or the typewriter. You want, a, you want a race car every time we change yeah. scene. For every letter that comes on the screen, I want to hear a typewriter sound. I think, Gentleman John, if you're listening, please consider this feature for a future release. I'm sure he's working. I'm sure he's opened up his coding program right now and is writing it right now. Hacking into the mainframe. <laughs> I'm looking at, uh, at uh, I guess the standout stat here is that Nico is the number one scout. And KD, and he's played a few games, then he disappeared for a bit to play Overwatch, but apparently he's back to play tonight. Uh, yeah, uh, if you look at his KD compared to um, Reasons as well, like even though they both scouts, Happy Cool and Stark, had really good KDs, you just see like Nico and Kyla just getting more kills in general, like 20, averaging 26 kills is pretty high. And it really, uh, they again play sort of two sacrificial soldiers, you know, two roamers a lot of the time. And it really just opens the doors up for Nico so many times. David DeWin has uh, given us some uh, direction here in Mumble Chat. He says, the real info, Amps 90 air shots, Captain only 56. Amps has been going ham this season. He plays uh, very aggressively though. He loves to go and die for his team, but does so much damage, hits so many air shots while he's alive, he definitely cannot be underestimated by reason tonight. Mm. Nursi's uber to drop ratio seems pretty high as well. Nursi has had some really clutch moments this season. Like I've been really impressed with her making a kind of debut in the Premiership. Uh, some crazy plays as well, but seems to make it work. Uh, that's, I'm, I'm so surprised, in fact, like that people are underestimating TLR so much. I know they've had an up and down season, but like this roster here tonight, this is this is deadly. Yeah, it's, it's really sort of lent, Nurse's play style, like with uh, sick dodges, clutch moments, really sort of lends itself to how aggressively TLR like to play. And with like two roaming soldiers, their medic really needs to be able to dodge quite a lot to just just, just to keep alive while the rest of his team are just going deep trying to find the frags. Let's, uh, let's race through some more stats. We've talked a lot about these first two. I know there's like tons of stats coming up. Where do you want to go next? Give me, give me a show, clue. Show me the, the team head-to-head. -head. Or no, show me the team records. The team records. Have you got team that one? Records. Yeah. So this is uh, just a little graphic illustration of uh, the story of these two teams so far this season. You can see their uh, reason only really faltering against TF2 Center, a.k.a. Epsilon. They got a lot of green W's up there on the board, but the last resort had some really up and down moments. It's so surprising though, because like they had the highs of getting a draw against Epsilon, which very few teams can actually claim to have done, taking a map off them. A clean map as well, yeah. No, yeah. But then the next week they go and uh, kind of dribble against Serpents, but Serpents at the same time are kind of like this team with a resurg resurgent roster. Like They've come good at the end of the season. But where they really let themselves down is they got smashed by both Lego and Full Tilt, and that was kind of like uh, the time that TLR were really struggling. These two uh, teams of young bucks were just on <laughs> in the ascendancy, you might say. Yeah, they, they faced them later in the season. It might have uh, might have been a different story. Yeah, it felt like TLR really took I mean, took their time, sort of getting together. You know, like even though there was quite a, like several players who were carried over from the land team, uh, losing sort of like they seem to lose a lot of direction, and it really took him a while for War to find his feet as a main caller and really get sort of get some stable play going. But now they're there, I really don't think 
the saloon odds are quite as representative of TLR's chances tonight. Yeah, it is a, a real investment opportunity, I have to say. Uh, so then, of course, the sponsors of this season have just released a new version of their site. So go and check it out, even if you don't intend to gamble. Just go and marvel at the, the technical glory there. But this is week six, even though we're in week seven right now, and there's going to be a whole bunch of games coming up over the next four days. We'll talk about that later. But let's uh, show me some more stats, CX. I keep reeling through them. I... This is probably the most interesting one. This is the demo head-to-head. Uh, the sort of British... The classic top British demo men, Cadus against Warhol, yeah. Different play styles, uh, effective in different ways. Um, obviously, Cadus a bit more passive, a bit more creative at times when he wants to go aggressive, favoring sort of just the cleanup role a bit more on demo man. And you can see mm. that sort of reflected in his KD. That's why he's number one right now in ETF 2L. Uh, whereas War is a bit more, a bit more direct, a bit more in your face, you know, just pumping out damage. Trying to, you know, look after his medic and just keep the team moving forward and directed. Obviously, main cooler as well means he's going to be taking, involve himself in a lot more of these pushes, you know, so he can be sort of on the front lines. But obviously, you can see the difference in average deaths. Uh, it's six doesn't seem like a big number, but Demo Man is quite an important class, and 17 deaths a game is quite a long time to be down as Demo Man. Yeah, definitely uh, a weak point for War. Like he it takes great pride in his damage stats, but. As it turns out, it's only like a difference of five damage per minute between him and Cadus, so it's not really much to be writing home about. And when you consider that he's like his KD is actually negative, he's just the demo man being that key player in the sixes setup that can uh, really turn the tide of an engagement. He can control choke points so effectively. Anytime your demo man's down, it's like a weight off your opponent's mind. So maybe if he can stay alive a little bit better can do more to contest Cadis, but I understand as well actually Cadis has been his wrist has been playing up again recently and there was even a question mark as to whether or not he was going to play today, last week at least, but he is showing up and I believe he's maybe played about 18 hours of TF2 to, in the last two weeks, so I heard on stream earlier so I'm not sure how much that's going to play into things, but worth considering yeah, he seemed pretty. Uh, I watched a bit of his like stream earlier. His BCW against full tilt, and he seemed pretty, you know, comfortable with everything, hitting his shots and so on. Uh, so I don't think it will factor in too much. I think again, the key difference is the deaths. Like they have a different play style, but both have their own merits and can be as effective. The difference is War just gets picked and caught off over extending more. Let's let's keep it moving, man. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Stark versus Nico. I guess, for playmaker scouts of each team. The thing that stands out for me here is that Nico has only played two maps this season for the last resort, as shown by the two bars on his uh, <laughs> charts there at the bottom. But even with that, he uh, or like he's currently number one in KD, but that, those stats are kind of skewed, I guess. It's not a large sample size, whereas Stark has been super consistent over 10 maps so far. An average of 18 kills and 11 deaths. That's impressive. Yeah, he doesn't maybe have the same pure fragging power as Nico, but Stark always just finds a way to get the frags when it really counts. I think, was it when they played Lego in some close games, and then towards the end, Stark just came off with a few clutch sprees that sealed those important rounds that allowed him to like edge past Lego. He's just an incredibly intelligent player. Like He's played pretty much every class at the, at the top level. At some point, uh, or at least I believe he can, but uh, Scout, of course, the most powerful class in sixes. He's uh, he's got all the tools that's disposable to really like maximize his impact on the game. I feel on Scout, he's he's an awesome roamer too. But let's keep it going, man. I know the teams are on the server. We'll uh, race through these these uh, head to heads. Do we have a server info yet? I've got the lo the live stats at least from David and Mumble yeah. there. Okay. Okay. S STV, yeah, there, there we go. Nice. There we go. Uh, we've also got next up Captain against AMS. Obviously, AMS averaging more air shots, a massive nineteen this season. Uh, that's all we need to see here, man. You know, just I'm, air shots. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. Next slide. Do you want to see some more <laughs> some more depressing air shot stats? Where are we at? 
of aroma, the aroma side of thing, concrete, measly four air shots again. Zebusai again in the same boat as Nico has only played two maps this season. His stats are kind of imbalanced, but he seemed to have a pretty terrible two maps, judging by his stats, but uh, still better than concrete, apparently. What do you make of concrete? New in this season, lots of question marks. Yeah, I mean, he's. I feel like he's being misused in the team. He should be... Who was it talking to about this? Kairos, maybe? That he should be playing more like a passive rumor. Like, imagine old-school Kalio playing for TLR. Yeah. But the way they're using him right now is making it really hard for him in his debut season in the Premiership. It's just a lot to ask. Like, obviously, Amps can go in and hit 90 air shots, but to expect Concrete to go in and these suicidal bombs and deliver... Hasn't always been working out for them. He has had like moments, so he's definitely capable, but it's all about consistency in the Premiership. Yeah, I, I think that's the key, is sometimes he'll have a really good game, lots of things will work, uh, everything sort of will go his way, but other times he'll just go completely missing. And when your roam is completely anonymous in a game, it can make it really hard to make anything go, like any sort of forward motions, any pushes work for you. More stats, please. Okay, what's left? Whoa. Some medic stats. This will be our forte now. Oh, yes. I've been, <laughs> uh, I've been impressed by Permzilla. I know uh, at the start of the season I was calling him out maybe for not staying in some fights when he could have turned it. What was the game in particular I'm thinking of? Probably Reason Epsilon, where they like failed to break them on Gullywash last, the draw. Yeah. But, uh, like... For a guy making his Premiership debut, he's done a fairly incredible job. Like, he's just uh, super cool, under pressure, very calculated. All the, the qualities that make him a great head admin make him a great <laughs> Premiership medic, I feel, too. I don't agree. I think he costs his team a lot. Like, sometimes, like, he stays alive a lot. Uh, you know, when his team protects him really well. He's got a lot of talent around him. But I feel like when it comes to those important Uber situations, uh, like he just it's, he just like ubers the wrong people at the wrong time. It's just not quite as crisp. Uh, it's fine because most of the time, reason are just sort of dominating the game you know, mm -hmm. with the sort of all the players they have at their disposal. Uh, so it kind of works out anyway. But I feel like if the game's going really close, if it's a really sort of tight uber situation, I feel particularly against Nursey. Nursey's going to make those more important flashes and those better decisions with his uber. Yeah, I think uh, Nursey is definitely the more impressive medic, but like the low risk style of TF2 that Reason seemed to favour uh, suits Permzilla, or maybe that's why they don't take many risks, but <laughs> I think it, it's a match made in heaven. Uh, I'm not surprised he's done so well this season, but they're top of the table, like you can't take that away from him. Uh, but yeah, it will be uh, really interesting to see how he performs in the real high pressure games coming up in the playoffs in a couple of weeks time. I think one interesting thing to see as well is Nursey's only dropped three Ubers this season, uh, whereas Perm's dropped nine, but Nursey's drop rate is much higher. Nursey's been playing Medic for several seasons as well. This is uh, Permzilla, you know, kind of coming to a new class and a new division. Much lower. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm reading numbers completely backwards. <laughs> Ignore uh, that previous statement. Let's go, more stats. It's almost stats? 15 minutes. I have one more. One more. David's telling us they're live in 90 seconds from now. Final one. Happy versus Kyla. Give me a 30 second analysis. Happy Cool has been like this guy that's slowly but surely been improving. And uh, it's just been really impressive to watch him grow. He gets better and better every season. If only he could do a little bit more damage. His stats wouldn't look pathetic there, but like very solid. Uh, very reliable. Nice. Okay, give me a quick prediction as well. We're about to go live. Uh, I'm going to buy TLR because I said they were a juicy price. I want to see an upset, but I'm not going to be surprised if Reason take it 6-0. So I'm going to say 3-3 three, three, and TLR win the betting. Okay. I'm going to go total score 6-0 Reason, but maybe sort of like 4-3 kind of games, you know, pretty close. Sunshine and Granary, not always the most standard of maps. They don't sort of always give predicted results. Uh, have, uh, I've just arrived an STV in the nick of time. <laughs> <laughs> K 
turn it close. You know, we've been boring people with the stats, CX. It's time to get everybody hyped the fuck up. This is Reason Gaming versus Last Resort. They're about to go live on map one, Sunshine. These are two of the, you know, the greatest games in European TF2. Going at it. There will be no love lost here, CX, as we go to the first middle. Yeah, we see War rolling the Alibaba's wee booty. He's going to take away his nade launcher, but give him some extra health. And he's rolled out Choke with that one. Uh, just trying to spam his way in right now. But the rest of the teams have arrived and players. Uh, actually, Nico's going to get double dog first. And that's going to open it up. Uh, and now we see TLR just getting really defensive off the back of that. They kind of half send an AMS, but they give up on that straight away. But now Zebesai's come flying in deep, trying to get all over Nursey. Launches him up in the air, packs him into a corner and finishes him off. Captain's coming in as well, cleaning up players left, right and centre. And now it's just Warhu, yeah, and his wee booties left. And he's just going to sticky and run away. Well, that's going to be really uh, soul-destroying there for the last resort. They tried to do the right thing on middle. As soon as Nico went down, they were like, okay, let's get out. But Zebesai was just <laughs> insatiable, jumping forward there, getting right in on top of Nursey. And as soon as that medic was down, they just crumbled. They're now sitting here on last with a huge uber disadvantage. It's going to be an early pop coming in here from Permzilla and co. Obviously scared of that sniper threat, but as the uber phase, they haven't really done much damage, and this is definitely playing in favour of TLR. Stoggy goes down on the flank. Zebasai versus Concrete, and Lobby Zebo loses out. TLR looking like they're going to clutch this hold here. And only Cadis and Permzilla survive, and they are going to survive. They're backing off to choke here. And uh, TLR going to be happy to see Reason beefing another last push. Uh, yeah, in their PCW against Full Tilt, I mean, they won it pretty, you know, convincingly in the scoreline 6-1, I believe, or 5-0. Uh, but they failed in these last pushes so often, it was really sort of like hammering their head against a brick wall. And now we see Stark switch, and they can switch off to Sniper as they hold defensively on mid. TLR with a clear 40% to push with, and it looks like it's going to be AMS coming through Flowers. He's walking across stickies, but going to pop early. Uh, AMS is going to try and go deep. But it's going to be really tough for him. So much ground to cover. And Reason are just going to walk away. And nobody's lost. Uh, and TLR are just going to take over middle right now. But Reason want to re-push. They've nearly got their... Uh, they're spamming the choke right now. As Pum's looking to make his way through. Concrete's made his way behind Cafe. Reason have left themselves wide open there. Concrete's coming behind now. He's all over Fernzilla. Oh! The drop happens. We question if he can make an impact. Uh, and he's made an impact straight away there on middle. And a back cap's been started as well by Nico. Reason are at, just at a loss, really, now what to do. All four of them go back while Cadus stays on mid. But that means Cadus is completely isolated. AMS will take him down. Zebeside comes in and Happy Call to try and uh, just get anything out of this push. Captain's coming in as well. And Nursey's actually going to get body shot by Stark. Neither medic able to stay alive right now. But TLR are keeping up this aggression on mid. They want to pick off these players. They're going to get one. They're going to rush for Sniper now. AMS just kills himself on Stark's head. Uh, and now we see Kyla getting through, getting aggressive onto Zebesai. Nice rocket from Zebesai mm. to launch him down. And Happy Cool is going to help his roamer out there. Sort him out. And Permzilla's got about a 30% advantage here after all that. Yeah, that uh, probably worked out all right for a reason. But TLR did a solid job of just fending off those Marauders in the middle. Uh, they chased ahead and... They perhaps didn't need to, but you know, they rolled the dice, didn't work out. They're just still sitting here on middle at a slight disadvantage. Uh, no sniper shenanigans from Stark right now. It is going to be cookie cutter, but it's reason to push. So let's jump in and hear what their plan is. Yeah, yeah, really it's just soldering Scout somewhere. aggressive. That's pushing cafe. Scout's pushing cafe. I'm not in there. He's uh, not committing. I'm not there, Stark. I'm We're power. in for free. I don't I'm know pushing right. It's just a scout five. behind. Auto 5 on. Scout and cafe still. He's yeah. back on me now. And we have to like. Go he's going to stay still. That's fine. They used it's bad for them soldier piped. This is going to be good for us. Let's go into them pump. They used. Oh, but you're going to come, motherfucker. Can you flash me again? They, no, flower, flower. I think flower, yeah. Nice one. Place blow, place blow. Maybe I'm out so I can go. Scott's so weak on second. Where? He's out, he's at lobby. Solid point, solid point, jump. Nice. Scott point, scout point, in cafe. Need choke. Hey, we should stuck at us. Don't chase this guy. Cap second. Mm. He's uh, he's on mid. The comms from Reason crystal clear. Like they just uh, spot out Nico and Cafe in middle. Start making that call. They were able to isolate him, get that pick, and it all just fell apart there for TLR. They got forced really early. Reason were in complete control throughout that engagement. CX. 
Yeah, absolute sword. I guess just perfect play. Identifying exactly, you know, what there was to take opportunity of. K just called straight away as soon as they popped and they got juggled and they were far back. Now it was a terrible Uber and he wanted to go into them and he made the chase perfectly on Nursey, eliminated him before he could get out, just pulling TLR apart and now Reason are going to push uh, again straight away, Ubering him through early, 25% still for Nursey as Reason try and focus for point a bit, they're going to try and focus frags instead now, but the soldiers are still blocking the point, now Reason try and get on point but Nursey is 10% away from Uber, goes for a slight, can't get it though, it looked so good for a second for TLR there but right at the end, three frags in quick succession gonna clinch it for a reason. I don't know why they keep going from top right, clearly it's just something they practice but like if you go from, you have uber advantage, you want to like take the route that's close, gonna get you closest to the enemy combo so if you go like lower it's right in the middle, if they're left you're there, if, you're, if they're right you're still gonna be close. But they keep going there, they made it work that time but I think it's definitely something that TLR can explain. But onto the second middle, 1-0 Raisin, Nico's gonna jump up onto the little red house. Take, trying to take a scout 1v1 there in cafe, but doesn't realize that Zepsai is going to backstab him with that rocket. Captain goes down though, but again, CLR are hemorrhaging players here on middle. They've decided to stay in for the fight and they turned it into a 3-on-3. Three -three. It's super close right now, but Happy Cool is going to find two frags there right at the death of that fight. He's now got the heals from Permzilla and Kyler isn't even going to bother. He's just going to regroup here with Nico and see what's up. Nico is dying a lot. Uh, was that the second mid fight? He's died. Like, the first one was a donk, so maybe that's not his fault, and that's just gimmicks. But uh, again, dying pretty early, and that just opened it up for Zebra to launch straight in and airshot Nursey. And from that point on, it's sort of pretty easy for reason. You know, in that early pick, uh, they're just finding Nico and then just using their man advantage. And again, Nico's gone behind down flowers. Uh, he looks, Stark's hiding for him and Nico's hiding for Stark while the rest of the Reason team move forward, slowly moving forward, edging their advantage and TLR are really passive here. Uh, Nico and Concrete have got behind, Nico's going to go down but, and Concrete is now stuck, he's going to get isolated as well. And I'm not quite sure what, what, the, what the real, like, there like, seems no plan here from the flanks from TLR. It's like no end game. Every, every TLR engagement, those two things happen. Nico goes down then a few seconds later Concrete goes down there, just not having any luck. And uh, here we see an Uber push coming in from Raisin. They know they had just a slight Uber advantage. They're trying to get onto Nursey to get that drop, but Nursey pops to save the day. Raisin are going to retreat here, but they know they still have mana advantage, so they can just buff it, med pack, and try and rebush. They're going to send Kadis in from the left of the heel. Starkey's coming in from the blind side here. He's onto Concrete, onto Nursey, and he's just shredding them. Happy Cool comes in to join the party as well. Uh, and Raisin get it on the repush to make it 2 0 with uh, still. 22 minutes left to be played. Yeah, uh, yeah, really capitalizing on that. Uh, we're going to go to another mid now. We're going to see basically if Nico can, if Nico can stay alive, TLR can actually make a fight of it because he's given his team such a sort of a hard mountain to climb with getting picked so early. Uh, we're going to see Kader's coming through flowers, uh, slightly quicker than war, uh, and going to get some better damage on him as well. We see Nico and Concrete uh, baiting out their own cafe now, waiting for someone to overextend, but no one from Reasons even going near them. So they're going to get onto the point now, and they're just lining it up. Both soldiers going to go flying forward. AMS is going to try and surf it round. Uh, meanwhile, Zebos is just hanging out in flowers behind them while this team fight goes on. AMS is jumping back, but Zebos found himself right behind every. Uh, Zebos going to kill two, and Cadis is walking forward on the other side. And Reason just make it look easy. And that's how you do a flank, Nico. Nico has managed to stay alive this middle, but. Uh... That frag is going to be his first as they look to escape here. Starkey is going to chase him down. I'm now up on the little trellis there trying to spam down. Will also fall to Starkey's scatter gun. And Taylor, they're on last here again. Whose comms do you want to hear, CX? Do you want to hear the defenders or the attackers? Let's. Let's hear TLR's comms, because they've actually held a couple of these last pushes or come pretty close, you know, despite a uh, massive disadvantage. Just so jump away as soon as you try to go for him. We were in a heavier okay. gun. They go left side by the way, so just make sure that they move early there. Fuck, I'm dead. Oh, Nico's in the middle. Nico's in the middle. Nico's in the middle. Nico's in the middle. Nico's in the left. Nico's in the middle. Nico's in the middle. Sorry, jump in. Right, he's on. There's six behind you. Yeah. Okay, Demo's right off. Scout's right. 
Scout tweak, please. Scout tweak. Left side. Scout side. They're all coming left. They're all coming left. They have uh, more players. They took a lot. No, oh, fuck. Demu's taking up the left door. One scout's down. Take the Sully on the right. He took a pipe. Nice. Demu's jumped. Demo. Demo heard. Demo as well. Nice. It's, it's medical. Demo's left lobby. Left lobby. I'm following Nico. Yeah, Sully's out. Okay, we can get right the side. Side. I'm on him. I'm on him. He's lower. He's lower now. He's lobby now. He's doing 90. Oh, it's fine. Oh, messed. Let's go out the sniper. Be careful. So they all come out from its TLR there. It looked touch and go for a while, but they made it work, Commander X. Yeah, really, uh, in sort of, once the Evas had faded and the repush came in from reason, just really clear calls from war on who to focus, who they wanted to shoot, what they wanted to do. And now they're in sort of, still an equal Uber situation, but it's like they want to move forward with it. Going straight through this cafe area, so much spam coming in, they're going to have to Uber early. They're going to get straight onto Permbo and Tim as both soldiers try and get out now. Until I have got in, gotten out, but they have lost Nico in the flank, but they're going to make it a trade for Happy Cool. But reason I come in piling through, Choke was trying to pump out damage, but Zebesai comes in all over war right now. It's absolute chaos. It's a 3v3. Uh, the heals are scattered for TLR, though. They're trying to regroup with Nursey, but Nursey's going the long way to flank. And meanwhile, Zebesai's coming in has absolutely decimated the two players. Nursey got separated. Zebesai capitalized. And uh, now Reason might even try to go to last with those two late spawns. Stark's already in here, he's surely calling Zebo forward, he was just waiting for that buff down to come in, look at the focus down, Nico, Nico's giving the jukes though, and Zebo doesn't want to commit here, Permzilla has already walked all the way back to the lighthouse as Stark goes down, he may choose to off pass here, but he does get Nursey there, oh my god, I missed that almost. Yeah, it is. they must have seen the spawn wave coming, but Stark was too committed, so you see, he, like, he just changed his focus and went sort of gung-ho for Nursey, and it paid off there. And now TLR have to hold of a massive disadvantage of Ubers once again. And Reza can just take their time with this, just building it up on, on the lighthouse. I'm going to jump to uh, the Reason comms, see what the plan is on the He didn't send push, only failed because we'd wasted too much time. How did you hit? Yeah, I'm top right already. So just yeah, I'm going to buff Zebu first. We're just weak, it goes on this. Still still there, watching. Yeah. Still wasn't right away. Okay. Okay. Right. So he's got a big bad flash. So done. Nice, I'm holding right spawn, all focus left. Heavy on left. Come in now, I'm going point. I'm dropping the floor. Good thing, heavy. Sully jumps right side. Heavy took 260. Heavy took some coming. Sully rape, got down. Anything you should have him pop, please. Heavy down. Double the counter red. That was so weak left side. Just then. 20 on them. Nice, well right. done. Got him, Zebo. Nice. Wow. Not even phased, are they? <laughs> That was totally clinical. Like, uh, it worked out well from that time, pushing from the right on the attacker perspective, because they saw the two soldiers, managed to kill one instantly, but... I mean, TLR, that's three times they faced that push. I can't abide anyone dying there. They should just know they're going to come from there and not give away that easy entry pick. But anyway, it's the fourth middle. What do you see, CX? Uh, we see both teams just kind of lining it up right now. Zebo's trying to bait out a pick on right side, but no one's uh, no one's going near there. So Zebo's going to get aggressive, going to the enemy flowers where he loves to play, but he's got a scout all over him. TLR have rotated to right-hand side and picked off a soldier. Uh, they've got him kind of trapped here. Captain's going in for a solo play on the medic, but he'll get picked off. Now Zebo's coming in for a follow-up play. He's going to get picked off as well. Good pocket work by AMS. And TLR win a middle, but Stark <laughs> comes in out of nowhere, picks Mercy, and... Uh, they might be able to get CP2 just with a sheer numbers advantage, but Reason will be pushing back pretty quickly. I take all that back, all that stuff I said about TLR being a good price tonight. I'm clearly just a toy of Touch CX because uh, Reason seemed to be outclassing them. I know they did lose. Uh oh, uh oh, back cap attempt there. Kyler and Nico. Start and Nico. They're both going to get on it. Perm's going to jump for the point. Puts his body on the line and the rest of the team come back and Kyla somehow gets out of there. Uh, the cap will go down on two. Now Kyla's trying to get onto Perm. Perm's going to hold on though. And they nearly got that. Yeah, Perm holds on like 66 there. Close range of the scout. Just uh, had no belief Kyla could hit a, a decent meaty shot. And holds on to that charge there. Big balls Permzilla. This is the man with his finger on the button at etf 2 yeah, and now we see Reason going to take that uber advantage straight into mid. Zebasai takes a lot of damage, gets forced out, but now Captain's coming in, going to take that high ground down. Nico's going to be the pick. TLR are really defensive. They just want to buy as much time as they can here. They're only 25% away, uh, but Reason known that as well and wants to move quickly through Cafe. They walk past the stickies, don't see them, but I don't think it's going to matter because they go the other way. 
They're still trying to chase, but they're getting really close now, TLR, and Reason might be overextending now. They do pop first. AMS is going to get the solo charge off, going to pick off one soldier, going to try and get the other one as well. Captain Superlow will actually crater. Cap AMS is just going, eating up all these players here, catches Reason way too far forward, and now Cadus is trapped behind. He's just slowly but surely getting spammed down by Concrete. Uh, none of these rockets are hitting though. Concrete's going for the skill stick skill. <laughs> <laughs> Will eventually kill the boxed in demo man. And now it's just one sole roam rely for reason. Zebesai in his own cafe. Kedis was doing so much work for his team there as well. Like he uh, just cut off the resupply lanes there. Was distracting all the spawners there for TLR. But Ams was just going beast mode in reason. Couldn't manage to get anyone through to help Kedis out. But... Zebesai is now working his way around from Cafe. He's gonna jump into choke here. All these players clustered up on that lighthouse cat point. Zebesai is coming in. He's gonna be able to do loads of damage, but gets immediately denied. Nico's gonna be cleaning him up with two shots. And that threat has been dealt with. I'm gonna want, want to hear what uh, the TLR plan is as they push level, level. They have a sentry gun. Where are you, Ams? Which Ams? I'm, I'm gonna. Let's go, go, go. I'm gonna focus whatever I can find. Sentry is right side. Focus focusing sentry. sentry. It's it. down. I'm launching right side the block spawn now. I'm jumping now as well. Sicky, scout so, 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 so. can. Both sides took a lot. Dead. Get him. Yeah, I see you alive. Scotty's low. I'm on the wall. Dead. Demo on point. Just demo, just demo. What? 30 health. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh <laughs> my god. They're stunned into silence too. That was unbelievable. Wow. I was literally about to, you know, celebrate TLR, you know, it was kind of messy, but the DM just came out on top, and then out of nowhere, Kadis just donks his way to killing everyone. Gonna clean up everyone as both teams wipe completely on that last defense. Action uh, continues here at the lighthouses. Both teams refuse to back down. Uh, it's turned into a 4 on 4 here, but uh, the high ground controlled by TLR making reason think twice. Stark shows himself there on the lower lobby. He gets spotted out by Kyler just as he escapes on to last. Just to uh, discuss that, that previous last push attempt from TLR, I mean like the TLR soldiers, they just can't help themselves. They feel like they have to launch in every situation. It's like, we're right beside your spawn door. We're gonna launch and leave our medic totally exposed and not use our heels at all. Like... <laughs> I, I see the idea because War was what like. They to do, yeah, but they don't have to like jump directly into them. They can just like <laughs> jump to a position where they can control the area rather than go nah. suicidal and gifting the frags. I mean, there's that high ground on their right hand side they could use. And like when War was calling that, the point was clear. The point was definitely not clear. There were still like four stickies on the point. So if anyone, any scout went on there, he would have just been insta gibbed by Kaders. Uh, so a bit of miscommunication on that as well meant. AMS going straight into their face to deny them coming out of spawn means nothing because no one can actually get on the point. You're like they're gaining, they're denying ground for a reason, but they're not doing anything with it. They're not capping the point, so it just becomes worthless. Uh, and now we're in an equal Uber situation. It looks like they just want to go for a solo trade with AMS again, but he's taking so much spam, and the Ubers had to come out so early. He's going to try and focus down these soldiers, but he can't even get them. Kyle's going to run in and force the Uber on Captain. Don't know if Perm had to pop there, really. Uh, but they will get Kyler, and we might be able to turn this into some forward motions, admirable. Yeah, they're looking to uh, sneak in lower here and work the way towards left. Or Stark's going to peek left, he's got a buff as well, he can make plays. Cadis is trying to look forward here, but it's Zemasai who's the threat coming Nico's up behind! Nico's on last! Oh, Nico's on last! Is back. Can he make jumped. it? Kiddos! He gets an arrow from <laughs> Perm! <laughs> Huge team plays there from Reason. Happy Cole comes in to steal the frag in the end up, but huge work there from Jason Allen to block that point against Nico. Uh, and now Reason are still trying to move forward, but AMS comes in from behind. And now the soldiers are still flying in. Perm's like, horribly far forward, going to get picked up. Kyler's going to claim that one. And now TLR still want to fight this. And there's not a lot of help on these Reason players to make any sort of threat to Nurse's life. So they're just going to back off. And Kyler actually gets a sticky trap kill on Kyler. But it won't do anything. They're going to regain CP2 and have about a 60% advantage on Perm. I'm going to hear the uh, you know the pillow talk here from TLR. What are they thinking? Yeah, yeah, they they jumped. Jumped. Like, it's this shit. Nice. Have a heavy. Do we almost have it? Yeah, we're in 8%. Okay, let's go from under. They got heavy. 
Two scouts, come with me under this time. You're gonna okay. go for the heavy, I'm gonna go for the sentry. Solid's coming afterwards. Okay. You take the heavy. I'm in. I'm being docked around. Nice, Nico. Nice. Go long left. Sentry's down. I'm right side. I'm launching Lloyd's. Jump at Debo, jump at Debo, jump at Debo, jump at Debo. What the fuck? Medic's dead. Play heals. Oh, you're only two. Go. Oh. How? I'm dead. Get yeah, fucked in the points. Mm. Nurse, oh. he's going for it. Nurse, he's going for it. Kader sees him though. Uh, takes him down with the air shot. Um, risky from Nursey, but again, TLR failing. The start of that push went exactly as they wanted it to as well. That was, uh, just the, the, the damage output there from Cadus and his soldiers on the point to hold on. Whoa! <laughs> Captain denying Amster, he was trying to come in from lower. Immediate air shot, denied. Concrete spot out in the left as well is being hounded there by Hathicle, but Reason, slowly but surely, working their way forward. They don't need to take any risks, they're winning 3-0 right now, 9 minutes left on the clock. Kyler has managed to ghost in underneath though, but gets spotted out immediately by Captain and Stark there as well. He knows he's got to win that fight, and he's going to retreat to meet up with his teammates here, but Uber advantage for Permzilla getting closer and closer to having a full charge. TLR are showing themselves here, they're trying to bait out the aggression from Reason. They're looking to set up the back cap. Ams is playing Spy, what? He's, he went for a pick in lobby, but just ended up showing himself, but during the chaos, Concrete comes in and just forces for you, but... Um, TLR are playing this back cap threat so heavily, and it's just slowing Reason down so much. Nico's going to win a 1v1 with Stark, take him down. And now we're going to challenge for points again. Challenge and Haffy cool, the rest of the Reason team are arriving, but TLR are so close to Uber, Reason have to be careful here. And um, Perm's got himself nice and safely tucked back in lobby. Concrete launching forward, trying to discourage Cadis, but Captain comes in, arcs around the lighthouse and gets the force out. He does get air shot by Ams though, but he's going to be more than happy with getting that Uber pop out and gifting his team the advantage again. It looks like TLR want to go on the numbers though, they're coming in through their left hand side, going to try and avoid the stickies, but Cadis is going to keep focusing forward and put so much damage down, and TLR can't come in, both soldiers go down instantly, and Reason don't give them any, anything to work off, and Nico's going to go down as well, now TLR are just going to have to give up CP2. Kyler again trying to go under, but just runs into a brick wall this time as he gets tag teamed by Captain. And Starkey, War's just been <laughs> sitting in that med pack for most of the time in the last five to ten minutes, spamming towards the lighthouse, waiting for his team to respawn. Uh, but now, <laughs> Reason have taken it and they're hot on their heels here. They've got this charge and this is a dangerous situation. They've got to pop off. They're trying to lead forward. Nico goes down in the flight to Zebo. And Ams is going to get caught out there at Cafe. War's looking to jump out. He's only on 25 health. Luckily, Concrete's here with the buffs from Nursey. They're just about going to be able to put their finger in this dam and stop this tide of aggression from Reason. Now they're looking to move forward with the Uber. They're hungry for frags, but Zebesai is still crushing the flank. He's on a 4k streak right now and he's hungry for more. Yeah, Zebesai is working this really nicely. He's probably going to get focused down now by the respawners, but he's just buying Reason so much time and giving him something to think about. And while they deal with Zebesai behind, Hafikul just walks in and forces the medic. Uh, now they've Ubered in a terrible position. AMS is going to try and go through choke, but gets completely denied. Uh, now War still wants to move forward, uh, but Captain's getting aggressive, and I don't think TLR really have much of a window here. They do have a player advantage, but both uh, Hafikul and Zebesai are up in a couple of seconds, so TLR are just going to get far back. Uh, six minutes left on the clock right now, and TLR needs something to happen soon, really, for this to to get any points on this. They've got uh, Ams playing Sniper right now. That's pocket off-classing to Sniper. Is that a sign of frustration, or is he just... Reading the situation here, that reason have advantage and they're going to be pushing. Maybe he's just, you know, because he was down, he's using that just, you know, because of how the spawns mm. worked. And uh, the threat of a sniper, you know, they not, they might not uh -oh. claim that it's AMS. And now Perm's going to walk through. AMS is charging it up, but doesn't get anything. Uh, and reason again to steadily walking through, keeping him out of the sight line. But concrete's behind. Perm's just going to pop. The Ubers are traded now. War's trying to find frags, but Zebesai's dancing around in this Tetris house. And he's going to get flashed out by Perm, but they do lose two players in that, and now Reason have backed off to choke. Zebesai's pretty weak, and Nico and Kylo want to chase, but Kayser's doing his best to shut it down. War's gone super deep behind everyone, he's hit one pipe on Perm, two pipes on Perm, going to take him down. Now the scouts come flooding through, focus down Cactus, they're all over Zebesai now with dual pistol. 
But Starks has gone in and killed Nurse. And in so many of these fights, Stark just finds a way to kill the medic in the, in the midst of all the chaos. TLR find themselves in a familiar situation. They're about to take control of that fourth CP. They're ready to push Reason on last. Uh, but they have to wait some time if they want to get a charge up. But Nursey is going to switch up to Crits Creek here to give them another option. Uh, we do see Happy Cole building that sentry again, Snark on Sniper. But nobody's uh, you know, going spy here to check what medic gun's being run, so this could come as a surprise, CX. Yeah, uh, there's no reason they'll know right now, and Perm is holding pretty close to oh, right-hand side. Star Star goes spy to check immediately. This guy's oh, a really? mastermind. Mm. <laughs> Talked about what a smart player he was before the game, proving it now. Uh, so now they're going to be expecting this crit, so I won't be surprised if we see someone maybe switch off to Pyro. Actually, Stark's staying on Sniper. Um, and it looks like they want to come from lower with this crit. All eyes on Warher, yeah, now, right now. There's stickies all over the floor. Kyle is clearing them quickly as he can, but Nurse is going to try and squeeze through and takes the sticky. And they've waited too long with this crit, so now Perm has it. They're still going to crit from lower. Here it comes. Perm's going to pop in time. Cadis was holding close, but wants to chase. He might be able to get Warher, Warher yeah, but he goes down to free health and will survive. And this might work out for TLR as they can just recycle with the faster building crits. Yeah, it would be a great situation if they were, <laughs> there wasn't only four minutes left on the clock <laughs> and three rounds down. They still have to deal with the sentry gun when they when they uh, push here. I mean, the sentry's the kind of natural counter to crits because there's no crit multiplier on buildings. And it also means there's two targets to shoot out here and it kind of restricts the sight lines which Warren can use when he does try to enter with this crit. So like, even though they have this advantage, it's still a tall order. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see which way they want to go. Right now they're just sort of doing the team huddle in the lobby. They do kill Zebesai on top right, and that might open the door up for them to push through, but it looks like Captain's rotating up there now. Uh, Nico and Kyla are trying to go in, but they just died to the sentry. War goes down. Everyone's gone down except for nursing. The crits was popped. I didn't even see it because it did nothing. Please, please explain that to me, admirable. What was the plan? <laughs> David says, 8 seconds of crits, and they all managed to die within 8 seconds. I mean, just the insistence on pushing from lower there, I know I was recommending Reason do that earlier, but that was with an uber advantage. Like, if they'd gone top right as the attackers, they could spam long range crits or whatever, or even try to pick off the guy in the flank. Well, any kill at all would have been good with the crits, but they couldn't make it work. And now the clock continues to tick down, they're going to be feeling uh, very dejected right now, but they do have a two-man advantage here with Zebo and Stark both being down. Kyler is going ham on the flank and he's working his way in behind here, he's cut off the retreat, but TLR are not chasing, it's just Hams and Kyler doing work here. <laughs> Hello, TLR, please push! Concrete's thinking about it, and he's changed his mind. The response from Reason come in. Um, yeah, again, we see they play the flank really heavily, and they are getting behind Reason, and they are, you know, starting these back caps, making Reason have to come back, but it's, it's the other side of the flank play, you know, the follow-up from a combo. It's just not been there. It wasn't there just then, and it's not been there all game. Here comes the uber pop from Permzilla, trying to save Cadis. He just uh, smells the, the blood in the water here. He's hungry for frags, but he's just going to retreat for a brief second here. Meanwhile, he turns his attention to the flank, tries to jump in with that flash. The uber does a lot of damage, kills off Nico, but there's no follow up there from the rest of Reason. They've retreated and regrouped on Choke. It is a 4 on 4 here, but they didn't manage to cap that midpoint that they were uh, looking for, but wow, Captain gonna jump forward in combination with Stark there to kill off uh, Concrete and now Reason. Are they gonna push? They don't need to. And I think they realize that. They're just kind of chilling. Yeah, it's Warren said he's trying to make a move through Cafe, trying to spam his way through that corridor, just trying to overpower the soldiers with his pipes. Uh, AMS is getting in the corner, but he's been caught out. So hard to get in that Cafe door when there's two soldiers spamming it. And TLR are gonna have to Try and go a different way, and once again, Stark wins that one-on-one -on, -one on the flank with Nico. And look at the scouts from Reason, just running straight behind to the enemy's cafe. I'm not sure what their long-term game is here. Stark's going way, way, way behind. Gonna fight Warher, yeah, no one-on-one, -on -one. take him down. Now TLR are somewhat surrounded. Stark's still behind, coming in from Flowers, and TLR are just gonna evacuate through Choke. They're uh, trying their hardest not to lose another round here, already 3-0 down, 35 seconds on the clock. And <laughs> Kyler is in deep getting stunned in the air by every sort of damage imaginable. Uh, he does go down, Cadis jumps forward through Floral here. 
<laughs> War is playing dead when I. Oh uh, wow, Nursi <laughs> gets totally abandoned there, has gone down, and the dead time carnage continues. <laughs> nice from Concrete there, winning a fight with Zebasai again. In the little stairwell, Concrete running around with his skill stick. He's gonna juke the scouts here. Oh, he's running the slip. No! <laughs> Rest in peace. Good effort, Concrete. But, um, yeah, pretty decisive victory coming out here from Reason in Map 1. Stay with us, though, guys, for more violation of the last resort from Reason Gaming on Map 2, Granary Pro. Let's take a look at the logs, though, CX. I definitely do not have that. Oh, wait, David's helped me out here. Okay. Um, yeah, we see Kados topping the damage. Again, 28 to 10 KD uh, is something that really stands out. Uh, AMS, Zebesai, and War all not too far behind him. War hitting seven air shots. Actually, the most, but often you get to see a Devon Man hit more air shots than a soldier in a game. Yeah, he really had some uh, nice sprees, particularly that defense they put up on their own last, where it was like <laughs> War hit back to bite air back-to-back -back air pipes and Nico followed each one up with a meat shot. It's uh, definitely devastating to have players that can put out damage that consistently, but overall, War was out-damaged by Cadis, despite being the top damage in Demo Man this season. He couldn't do it against Jason Allen, who, despite having a flare-up in his wrist injury, was absolutely rampant. 311 damage per minute, 28 frags, 5 assists, and only 10 deaths. The kid is legit. Happy putting up good numbers as well, 28, 14, 11, uh, just massive KAD, just involved in everything, clean up kills, setting them up, just all around, just hitting everything. Uh, we see Zebesai, 27 to 24, doesn't look like the best KD, but the, the kind of role he was playing, sort of that solo role on the flank, where he just keeps trying to go behind, having a positive KD when he's trying to play behind the enemy team the, enemy team the whole time is really impressive. It was a closely fought game, but I mean, all the, the team stats are standing out here for a reason. A huge gulf in frags, 40 frag difference, uh, 4k damage more. They had one less Uber. Well, there was a drop, a drop by Perm, yeah. Permzilla. The one Concrete got earlier. But like, yeah. just the medic stats there, 8 deaths for Permzilla, 15 deaths for Nursey. 3 mids as well to reason, only 1 to TLR. Fairly uh, one-sided. Perhaps the reason it wasn't 5 was just because Reason struggled to push last a couple of times initially. Mm. Uh, it's, it's kind of weird because Sunshine sort of skews for statistics uh, because cause last is so hard to push. Like TLR probably failed as many last pushes as Reason, but Reason just got themselves into that position so much more often that they were able to convert them eventually. And Reason seemed to have more of a plan when they went in. Like some of TLR's last pushes look particularly ropey and when you're pushing against a team who has a level 3 sentry a heavy, sticky two, two soldiers, you know, they're just completely ready and set up to make this as difficult as possible, when it's already pretty difficult anyway just because of the map layout uh, going in without like a fully formulated plan is just going to end in failure Yeah uh, Zebesai actually having a pretty decent stats here, considering we were uh, lambasting <laughs> his stats in the pregame. Goes huge on Rumor there, actually. 27 frags, 24 deaths, 292 damage per minute. Concrete not having the same sort of success. But, like, the pattern I kept seeing throughout the game was that TLR's flank players, not just that they were dying, but they were playing totally alone. Like, the flank is a great concept because it's supposed to mean that your opponent has to look in two places, but, like, the combo of TLR was so passive, like you actually heard Cadis and Calm saying like, oh, we're getting in here for free, I don't know what's going on. And whenever they were pushing like from two to three, and then like there's no there's no uh there's no panic in reason because they're not being put under or under any under any pressure by the TLR combo, so they can just deal with these flank players so easily. And add on top of that the fact that they're all just uh, on top form today, they're winning their one v ones, but like the the reason setup isn't isn't like the the way their combos playing isn't gonna bear any fruit on the flank. It's not gonna aid their flank at all. They should just all play together if they don't want to push. Yeah, and like instead of you know dividing reason and making them either have to fall back to get those frags, at which point TLR can just gain ground for free, or maybe find a nice opening to get some good damage off. 
It just means like Nico, Kyler, Concrete, whoever decides to go behind, is just sort of like offering themselves to reason as a sacrifice. But not actually just giving them a free pick. And from that point on, if you're going to keep giving reason these sort of constant player advantages, it's no surprise that they eventually take rounds off those advantages. I'd probably like to see uh, Nico playing more as the, the pocket scout. He seemed to be the guy who was always the farthest forward. I don't know what their current setup is, to be honest. Maybe he hasn't been practicing enough with the team, but uh, I'm not saying that Kyler's bad. I just think that Kyler is a better sneaky scout than Nico. He's like kind of famous for playing slightly unorthodox and always just popping up in these weird situations, but if he's being tied to Nursey, it has to you know, protect the medic. That's not using him to his fullest potential. And also, like, Nico is the scout who's going to put out the most damage, so give him the heals. And if he was actually there at all these moments when both the soldiers jump away with war, like, we saw it on last when he was forced to, to defend, like, he couldn't run yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, 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 if you right. just do that all the time, like, you're going to have a lot more success, I feel. I mean, it's no coincidence if you put the heals on war and Nico. Like, in that last situation where the only two players left alive, so the heals had to be on them. But those, those three players, like the medic... War and Nico play together, and suddenly they're finding frags as a unit. It's not a coincidence. Just heal your best players. Pick up strategy. <laughs> exactly, man. We are uh, we are here for map two of this ETF Two L season twenty two, powered by Saloon.tf Premiership Week Six fixture between Reason Gaming and the Last Resort. Granary Pro is the map. Reason have already taken three points on Sunshine, but if TLR can take three points here. People are, are going to lose a lot of skins tonight. Big underdogs in the betting. Is it just one map they need? They just need to win one map outright. To... Yeah, if they, if they get three points, that'll give them 3.5 with the spread or with the handicap. Okay. So okay. let's go TLR. I still believe. That's yeah. my prediction. TLR, the comeback from that uh, inability to get even a single round on the board in the first map. They're going to come out strong here in Granary. Amps and Concrete are going to have the game of their lives. You heard it here first. Uh, and we're live. Take us to the first mid admirable. Okay. I am uh, obviously going to watch Cadis roll out. And uh, the setup here seems to be that he's going to go top. And he's there slightly ahead of War. He's pre firing top, but he sees a sticky flying over the crate. And already stickies the med pack from War, but War has managed to just walk in and, and take it anyway, so. Cadis just calling out this information to his team. He probably knows it's going to be a right hand push because he sees the demo man on the low ground. So they're looking to set up here. Look at them abusing the high ground, but Nico's circling around underneath. He's trying to put out damage onto any target. He's got Captain down to 13 health, and TLR are going to go forward here, but Zebasai is just walking in behind onto Nursey. One meaty rocket trying to land another, but it takes him two more until he connects. Medic goes down. But Permzilla has survived and they're ready to repush here with the Uber Starks in on the distraction, but is immediately dealt with. And Captain and Permzilla are horribly committed here and outnumbered, but Captain is trying to find the frags. Kind of just keeps walking backwards, though. Captain can't connect the rocket and he's going to jump forward here. He knows their way, gets the immediate pick onto Nico. Kyler didn't even stay in for the fight. And War has been hung out to dry here by the Portuguese scout. Captain <laughs> takes control of middle, but they do lose the cap. Uh, yeah, Captain did really well to salvage that at the end. So difficult to do a solo gunboat Uber because the players can just scatter so easily, especially Scout. But now TLR want to recontest this even without their demo man, just trying to d use those forward spawns and deny Reason coming in. And that trade of soldiers is just going to seem to put Reason off going in. Concrete almost got in on to Permzilla there, got uh, spotted out going top by Captain, landed right in Perm's face, but just couldn't connect the fatal rocket. Perm survives on half health and now. The regen kicks in and they have a little uber advantage edge here. I'm not sure uh, if they're aware of it, but it's on Granary, it's not really worth pushing on that kind of like 15 to 20% advantage. So they're going to sit back here and uh, maybe we could listen to some team comms. It looked like Zeba wanted to go in for a bomb there, but he got spammed. Let's see. Why is that close 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 run. Oh, I don't like it. There's something in mind. We've got Nico. That's an entry frag. Can you ride on me right side? Entry frag. They call me. I'm doing well, damage. That one cloud Demo's nine player. Taking spam as well. Weak as off void. Demo's dead. I'm behind. Nice. Me. Let's just walk Let's in. Let's push. We no, just walk no, in top. There's no pressure. Oh, what's he left? They're pretty defensive. Solid's close to where I think. Yeah, he's with me. He's on left. Okay, I'm pushing ramp below you. They're behind you on ramp. We're behind them. 
Are you snow? Sorry, dead. We're in ramp. Okay, I'm walking in the ramp. Where are they? Scout spot, scout spot, scout spot. Is he? I don't see him. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Sorry, John. Sorry, dead. I'm coming right for a second. Just delay on a second, I can come and help. Scout. He's pretty low. He's got weak, bottom right. He's, uh, he's so low. Come, guys, come on. Come to Kwang. He's 50. Ghost, cheers. Yep. Top left, Ghost. Ghost, 99. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, these comms are absolutely Running fucking around. dire, man. Scout's weak. You said it, Kades. <laughs> 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 Nico doing so much work there. Wins the 1v1 with Happy Cool, then fucking <laughs> Stark as well. Uh, distracts the concentration there of the reason combo, sets up this push for TLR all the way on to last. Just as I was saying, Nico should play with the combo. He goes and makes <laughs> the huge solo play. Well played, Nico. I don't know a thing about TF2. Yeah, really coming out clutch there. The back to back 1v1s and reason were just. Uh, just had no answer, they had no organisation, no real plan of what they wanted to do, the comms were a mess. And uh, that's going to allow TLR to capitalise with the opening round, put them in the lead for the first time in this matchup. Uh, and now we see uh, both teams arriving to mid again, both teams are staying around their own crates. Uh, AMS sort of faking a bomb, he's going big now, going really hard. He's faking it though, he's opened the door for Concrete to come in and Warhead has just got all the point presence, but here come Reason back onto the point. AMS is going to win that 1v1 with Captain. And force him back, and now it's just Perman Stark in a corner, and Concrete is chasing. <laughs> AMS gets the stick, uh, just ninjaed behind. But Zebasai is going to walk in, uh, trades with Nico. Stark's now one v one of a med on mid, and where is Warhu? Yeah, he's still on mid. I don't think Stark knows where he is. War's just waiting for the health back. He's timed it. He's going to get it now. He's going to take the one v one with a scout. He's got pipes only. Uh, Stark's dodging around all of them, but catches one. Uh, War solo, he needs one more pipe. Stark's gonna jump over it though, finish him off. Uh, and the respawns for Reason are actually much better since they uh, died earlier on that mid, and they're gonna get all over it. If only the demo man had a, another weapon that didn't require direct hits, you know, like something you could just detonate, you know, midair. That would be like a. Okay, yeah, but where's, weapon, right? where's the glory in that, you know? <laughs> where's, <laughs> where's, the, where's the honor, you know? Sure, hit your pipe, but like. Get the, get the easy cleanup frag with your stick, you still go for another overkill pipe. I don't know, man. Unlucky war, but best advice, <laughs> Stark. Uh, now we see Reason actually trying to take over the uh, garage side here, but they just end up losing both soldiers. Uh, really just sort of outplayed by TLR on that one, predicting it and isolating them. And now it's gonna, it should be pretty easy for TLR to take this into mid. Uh, no soldiers on those crates to spam down for them, it's just Hafiko and Stark trying to deny the entry, but Concrete's going to come in. Uh, they are going to Uber through, and Perm's quite far back from Cadus. Reason are just backing out here, letting TLR waste their Uber on Cadus. And now Reason are going to re-push mid with a full Uber advantage, but they do pop it off uh, quite passively there, and they've only got two frags out of it. But they might... Oh, actually, never mind, they've absolutely crushed them in the yard, so everything's fine. Uh, Nursey's oh, Nursey. trying to one v <laughs> trying to get the medic pick, but it won't pay off. And now Kyla's just hiding up top on the pipe, just looking to try and maybe catch someone coming in a bit early into last. Uh, Zebasai's gonna walk in, doesn't see Kyla, uh, hits a rocket though, and that's gonna save him. Reason are just going without the Uber here, just trying to overpower TLR, but TLR have five spawns. War's denying the point, and they're trying to walk in, uh, but they've got. Pretty good presence here, but the frags are coming for reason. Concrete's alone on the point now. War's got a scout to deal with, and just one at a time, reason just picking apart TLR. Yeah, uh, they got savagely mauled on that mid. I love the setup from the scouts and Cadis during that defense. Like the scouts just sitting up top to get the easy damage on the jumping soldiers, but then Cadis just spamming uh, straight into the doorway as everyone was trying to swap the scouts away but it worked perfectly for them they backed off and got their charge up and then they just mauled them uh, but here we are on middle number two 22 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock the players are in position the plays are about to be set in motion and it's going to be captain who initiates jumping forward there trying to knock players off the crate and he's taking control of the blue crate here concrete's right below him if he were to turn around he does just drop off there for a half second Ams is jumping forward trying to uh, abuse that high ground advantage but it's concrete who goes down first but in fact TLR still have the health advantage here the health on reason is absolutely dire everybody's calling for medic right now 
but uh, they've just weathered the storm for long enough. They're able to walk forward here. Zemisai is trying to chase down as many TLR players as he can, but he doesn't realize Amtis behind him. And it's finished off there, but War and Nursey are they outstanding? They're welcoming War with a huge pipe on the start. The Uber pops off here, Permzilla with the counter pop. War and Nursey now gonna retreat here, but somehow they've almost turned this into a fair fight, but War gets juggled around the corner. There's a lot of damage missing here, but uh, Taylor don't even want to contest that without a demo man. Probably the smart choice. Yeah, Taylor, uh, Taylor War made the best of a bad situation there, but without that demo man to deny entry, reason want to take it straight to last. TLR soldiers getting behind them, but they're just going to stack the point instead. So much cap time has gone, and TLR have to drop to it. But it's going to make it an easy spam target for Captain. Now Zebesai's bombing in from the back. He's just going to jump from the point as they focus him around, and TLR just didn't have enough people to watch all the doors. And Reason making the quick comeback. Yeah, I mean, that's some really fundamental tier 2 coming out from Reason. It's like the demo man is down, play the objective, play the point. They do that, they uh, force the issue there. And they've given themselves another round on the board, 2-1 here. And uh, who do you want to see in this middle, CX? Uh, let's see if we can see uh, Zebesai. And we're going to watch Tila try and come through the right-hand side, but War takes loads of damage. Captain goes in big straight away. Uh, Zebesai's got a frag already. Um, but actually, we have just wiped off the back of this pretty much. Just Cadus and Captain trying to jump around to find an entry. Teal are all on the low ground, might work out badly for them. They've isolated Kyla, but Kyla's going to kill Kadus. Uh, he's going to take on Captain now as well, just pistoling him down from long range. Captain's going to get the heck back. Uh, this extended 1v1, Captain will eventually win, uh, but Nursey survived that whole thing. Where's the passion, man? Like, where is the fighting tooth and nail for your teammates? How long are they going to bait Kyler out for in there? Like, <laughs> War and Nursey taking the scenic route to get back into that fight. It's like, come on, guys. Get in there, jump forward, Nursey, get that crossbow out. Kyler uh, gets beat out and Zebo survives for now, but huge uber advantage here for TLR. Let's listen to their comms. On scout's right. Let's go. Slow behind you guys. Oh. Okay, soldier on mid. Soldier on mid, yeah. We gotta get the medic fast. Soldier to 100. Alright, let's yeah. just go yeah. one to them. We're gonna probably go through here. Fuck, I'm up. Oh, so Still Still side. Side. I need ammo. Let's go back now. to second, maybe. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, yeah. They're yeah. bottom right, they're bottom right. I'm dead. So just still on mid. So just down. Demo jumped! Air shot in! <laughs> I'm on aggro up there, guys. Oh, wow. Well. Demo is 130. Nice. Start six under flank. Start six under flank. They got coming to you. Coming to you. Right yard. Z, Z, Z. He wasn't Z. You can go last, maybe. No, I'll, maybe. I wouldn't recommend it. No, that's not. Scout top. Top. Okay, okay. He's going, going, going. Oh fuck. He's low. One HP. He must have got top. Put it up top. Two swords on top. Four swords up top. Dead. Right. Nice, Nico. Far, Let's far go. left. Far left. Far left. We're going I'm in. in. I'm in. Come on. We're in far left now. Make yeah, sure go for demo. Go for demo. Left side. Jumped. Left side. Go for him. Go for him. Demo took to rock. Everybody on him. Go quick. That's quicker, so quicker. weak. Hold you down. He'll just count. 100, 100. Let's go, let's go. 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 let us Totally stranded, he's just like, yeah, this is over. Kylo <laughs> uh, and Nico, like, it looks great for TLR, but Kylo and Nico just were so separate from the heels. You want the heels on your scouts at the end of that, no sort of messy fights just to clean up all the remaining low players. Uh, but it was just war getting over heels without a lot of ammo, and he's not much you can do in that situation. And uh, now we see Reason retaking CP2, trying to catch out AMS, but he will surf it away. Uh, but Reason have about 30% advantage here, and they look like they want to start moving already uh, off that one pick, but Concrete's already respawned and starting to get back into the fight. Reason trying to scope out a way into middle. Zebesai's already worked his way in on the left with Stark. They find Nico. Like, the calls didn't seem to be there. Nico just didn't expect them. Uh, Zebo eventually cleaned up there by Kyler, but he's turned so many heads. Actually, Reason ended up popping here to make it into middle, so they're probably going to cap the point, but it's the classic leapfrog scenario where you trade Uber for territory, and now 
it's going to be Nursey, Ward and Ams looking to do the same, but Concrete is still way behind enemy lines here. And he's now starting to work his way into the Red Rump Room, but Stark's there to greet him. This is going to be a tough fight to take. Stark wins that one with ease. And, uh, wow, TLM is making his middle fight popping. Yeah, Zepatar's going to come in for the solo play, but he gets isolated straight away. Now, some spam coming in. Uh, but really sort of passive play from Reason, giving up all that ground just for a single Roma behind, basically. Um, they're now 30% behind an Uber. If TLR move quickly, they might be able to catch Perm, but Perm's sitting right back at the far door of that CP2. TLR are going to have to be very direct to catch him with this, but I don't think they will. Uh, so now it's going to be an Uber versus Uber fight on CP2. AMS looks like he wants to take the slow charge in, just going to butt faces with Captain. Perm will pop slightly later. Nico runs in for reasons unknown, just to keep to keep Nursey busy, I guess. AMS is going to get caught overextending. Nico is going to get trapped in there as well. Nursey does escape, but he's now separated uh, from his demo man, and they're all going to back out. And, and Concrete's going to try and get out as well. And just I don't know, just really I don't know. Short like short term goals, really. Like I don't know why Nico came into that fight. Uh, if he if he hadn't showed up, Nursey probably would have died, but. Uh, in like Nursey really committed hard there with Amps and the single Uber despite the fact they had to pop first. Lucky to survive all I feel. Now here on middle Amps and Concrete going for that classic double bomb. The call to lunch was made, the button was pushed and they went flying board. Nico's still in the fight here, he's distracted and Wars trying to walk in and do damage but Cadis is looking to control this choke point. Sets up the frag for Hapikul, he's just streaming forward here but immediately sees that Concrete has control of the high ground and is just going to run away. But meanwhile, here comes the Reason combo working the way forward from Rump Room. And uh, the Reason scouts are hungry for more frags. I think they've got five in that last engagement. But it's going to be Cadis looking to trade Ubers here with Permzilla. Happy Cool and Captain just dancing back. Ams is looking to chase them uh, with the Uber here, but Reason's positioning is uh, just on point. Cadis ends up getting knocked forward, though. Nico claims that frag. Nursey goes down though for Cadis' trouble and uh, it's probably going to end well <laughs> for Reason but Benzilla goes down, what? Uh, absolute chaos, uh, now the Reason players are all over the point, War's getting surrounded by both scouts, uh, tough one for him, he's trying to fling out pipes desperately but he'll get cleaned up, Zebasai wins his Roma one on one with 4 HP remaining, he's going to cap that CP2, Nursey's out on Pyro versus two scouts though and is just going to get focused down. 3-1 to Reason, and Reason's starting to find their stride here. Yeah, they are uh, cruising towards another victory here. 14 minutes 30 seconds on the clock for TLR. They come up with some sort of plan to claw back these rounds here and win some sick skins for all their fans who bet on them in saloon.tf tonight. But War now enters middle. Cadis is real fast. He's already up on top of the crate here. Walking forward, sticking the entrance. The Ams is just about to walk through Cadis' deaths, but Ams somehow avoids most of the damage but gets absolutely wrecked anyway. Uh, <laughs> Ams joins Nico in the spawn queue. Concrete is quick to follow them. Cadis has uh, been gibbed there. War is getting caught out. Nurse is trying to decide what the hell are we going to do here, but everyone's just dropping like flies. Kyler's still alive. He's just been spotted out though. He's, He's running to try to and middle. run to middle to block. I think that's his only option. He's taking the 1v1. Good decision by Kyler. Uh, he's got the earlier damage, but Stark's going to win it. 34 health remaining. Uh, Hafika was coming back anyway, I think, just to ensure that was a guaranteed win. But Nico's got another pick on the flank, but he's sort of given away his position with that. And now Captain's going to go on to try and scope him out. And Nico's stuck behind on low health. Going to try and come for to one-on-one -on -one the buff Hafika. Not going to work out for Nico, and TLR now stuck on their last one player down, 75% of Uber down, uh, and Reasoner is going to walk in for free on this right hand side, no real spam, look how far forward Perm can get before he has to pop, he pops now, but Kados is so deep, Happy Cool as well, they've isolated War on this side, Happy Cool can't hit him though, uh, Captain will eventually help him out finishing that one off, they do lose Perm and Kados. Now it's just a DM fight, but the scouts have to go huge from TLR right now if anything's going to happen. Uh, Nico gets one, Kyla gets one. Nico's to super low health, but they do cap a point in the meantime. 4 1 to reason, and they're starting to run away with it now. I, um, I'm going to gamble here, I'm going to listen to TLR's comms. Will it be a, a wake or a. I think we just party? need not to commit. Like when we get better mids, when we just mid us hard. Just wait for them. Okay. Nice job. 
He's top right. Sorry, he's fine. He's so fucking annoying. You should really try and go I forward it, whilst there's a solid behind. Just go forward. I'm jumping now. Mmm. I mean, took a big tap pipe. Sword behind you guys choke. Oh fuck. Never mind, took 30. Who does a D3 help I choke? They're in their choke, Whoa. really defensive. One scout's chasing the room. What do you think? I'm, I'm gonna die. Five. I'm dead. Ooh, Kylo. I'm up down. For fuck's sake. Where are you? Kylo not happy. <laughs> yeah, like, at least he's offering up a solution to the problems. He was like, let's just wait, play a little passive, but they, uh, didn't seem to recognize the Zebo threat on the flank there. Just as they were getting set up to go and make their plays, Zebo comes in and kills off Nursey. But Bams is just sitting there <laughs> under the, the, the wooden dock. Uh, Nico's also hiding in drop down as well. And potentially could turn things around here. He is going to get the frag onto Starkey. He was, Stark uh, was waiting for him as well. Uh, Nico just wins for 1v1 anyway and then taunts. <laughs> and then kills Captain. The uh, self damage plus meat shot, that is. Oh, he's <laughs> Nico coming behind. Is wrecked in chat as well. He is uh, going for the main the games. Gets the force onto Permzilla as well. And uh, Reason feel like their best decision here is to push, but there's actually two scouts behind. Uh, Nico is going to kill Happy. Kill. Wow! Nico, Nico and Kyler. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, Nico just a uh, one man army on the flank. Uh, at the moment, trying to keep TLR in it, and he's opened the door so much. It's gonna be both soldiers bombing in for Nursey, though. Nursey's committed early, he's had to pop, rides the air shot off, invulnerable. Uh, Captain's gonna get out on the other side, uh, but it does mean that the Ubers will be equalized there. As the other side doing these, doing that sort of grunt work on Roma, just getting the Uber forced out. And now Reason actually want to push this. AMS is gonna challenge Captain coming back in, but Cadus is gonna jump as well, all over Nursey, really pressuring him. Perm safe in the corner still. But TLR have got a couple of flags and now AMS is getting the high ground. Uh, they're still trying to make it work, but Zebesai is going to deny AMS. War, yes, oh! in, but he gets air shot as well. <laughs> War does get the kill, but he kills himself in the process. What? Is that and just like a, a blind pre fired air shot? Did he just surf it? Did he just jump into a rocket intentionally? I, just, <laughs> I don't know. That uh, was bizarre. He was, he's ready. Ready for all situations. Yeah, I think he was aiming for the soldier and War just happened to jump forward at the same time and straight into that, surf the rocket to his death. Well, you said you wanted them to play more for their team. War here, yeah, flying across the map to take, take an air rocket. shot. Yeah. <laughs> the team works there now. Uh, now we see TLR trying to get through this left-hand side. Uh, Concrete's trying to do the drop-down jump, but the rest of the reason team arrive and just completely smash him into the ground. Uh, now Reason have a pick and a 50% advantage to go in on. Uh, again, Reason just able to get in for free off so many, uh, into so many of these points, and TLR have just given it up, trying to build up their uber advantage, but Reason want to keep pushing, Captain's already looking, uh, but Cadis and Perm are quite far back, so this might buy Nursey enough time, now on 90%, TLR want to stay strong in yard, Zebesai's going to be completely denied coming through, Cadis launches through, goes behind, going to start the cap and sticky himself in, meanwhile Perm's doing his best to get out, he's completely outnumbered, AMS will get him, but Cadus has been capping it the whole time. He's got it stickied up. No one can get to Cadus. Nico finally comes in and gets him. Uh, and TLR clean up everyone in what turned out to be a very messy fight. And Stark's actually going up top behind now to maybe try and create some more chaos. I think he might just be playing the long game here, waiting for the back cap when TLR try and go to mid. Kyler's circle around, but he's giving away his position. Call out Medic there. Nico has walked into the yard underneath Stark. Stark's still here. In lunchbox, he's about to blindside Concrete, but whiffs the first shot. Concrete with two easy rockets misses both shots here. The only damage done, I think, was Concrete self damage. Start getting a little bit surprised, and uh, his potential to go huge just uh, zeroed there. But Reason with the slight uber advantage, but the man disadvantage. So they're kind of playing cagely here. They don't want to get caught out by TLR. They're just going to explode through from the left hand side. Nico finds Zebesai, and he's looking for more, but. It's the Ninja Vanish coming out from Reason there. I think they uh, got off pretty lightly as TLR take control of middle. Reason are probably getting ready to do a little re-push of their own here with this 3% advantage. 
Tila are all walking into it as well right now. Permzilla has Uber right now. He's going to pop on Kedis. Kedis could do so much damage here. Tila are doing their best to get away, but they will lose AMS. They have three some players free behind. people behind. All of Reason are coming back, though. They're going to get all three of these frags. And Warren and Nursey aren't going to be in a position to help. Uh, they're going to try and focus down the scout now. They get one. Uh, Kyla and Nico are still around, but not a great deal of health on either of them. Nursey and Warhead, yeah, have walked forward, but have had their Uber for in the meantime. They're trying to kill this scout. Happy Call will go down, but now everyone's sort of regained standard positioning. And it's a 5v4 fight onto CP2 in TLR's favour. Kyla's going to walk in first. Could do with a bit of help. Kyla's miraculously taken no damage so far. And is going to somehow melee Cadus. Cadus is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Kyla will get him and get healed back up. Um, and now, even with the uber advantage, Reason can't do much except sit on their last. And War looks like he, he wants to peek. He wants to go for the fort. He's trying to get onto Perm 1, rocket into the air. He's getting pistoled. Uh, but Roma comes to follow up. Perm's down to such low health. Milks it as long as he can. Down to 14 hit points. Will pop it off. Uh, Reason will claim CP2, but that force has given TLR a massive uber advantage. War is not going to get the forward spawn, so... Uh... If TLR just stay here, they're going to get punished hard. If Reason just go, they've got to be aware that forward spawns aren't in. The captain jumps forward, lands a, a direct, but actually Nursey pops there to save Kyler. Captain retreats, nico has gone down as well, so TLR pop outnumbered here. They're only actually three versus about five at the minute. And the actual man advantage in this fight, they're about to get backstabbed by Captain. He's coming in, rockets onto the scout, looks for Nursey then, but couldn't decide who he wanted to kill off. And ends up going down. Reason can't play off that distraction either. And TLR are ramping here, running forward. Amps is on the point. He's gonna get that brag onto Happy Girl, kill him solo, <laughs> but it's gonna be another round on the board here for the last resort. And there's still plenty of time left to tie this game up, see it. Yeah, five and a half minutes left, and you can get rounds on Granary really quick. If you win the mid and kill the enemy medic, you can really just roll it all the way to last. Uh, pretty consistently and pretty quickly. As we see Kadus rolling out top again, he's favouring that rollout all game. Uh, gonna put that early sticky on Warhoye, it's him really low. Uh, Warhoye's forced to drop to the health pack. Nico's trying to play aggressively on Kadus to force him back, but actually takes loads of damage from Stark. Now we see the big skip jump from Zebasai all over Warhoye, gonna focus down at Demo Man. Now Captain with a follow up bomb, they're trapped in the corner and Stark's behind them. They're gonna kill Stark and get out with most of their life still intact, even though a lot of weak players. Um, reason want to keep pressuring, they've never done the damage, but Nico actually converts that frag onto Captain. And Nico is coming up trumps in a lot of these situations, and now TLR want to push. Two player advantage, Nico's just going to run through right hand side, Cadis is putting on the damage, juggles AMF back. They're going to get the force out of Perm, but Perm's got a good 40% on this Uber, and is going to chase, just decimates Kyler. And AMS has just somehow snuck through everyone, through all the Uber bodies, killed the medic. Concrete's going to kill Cadus as well. Uh, quite a messy fight, and Nursey stayed alive through all of it. Uh, they're at a player disadvantage. Um, and there are players behind. Nico's fighting them, but it's a 2v1 situation. He's going to have to regroup with his medic. Uh, Zebasai's getting behind, and Reason are slowly encircling them here. Zebasai's looking for an opening, but he's been spotted out by Nico. And Nico wants to go take that one v one with Zebasai. He's going for it, but Zebasai deters him. Uh, but again, TLR, Uber advantage, they can make a push to mid off of this. Four minutes, or three minutes, 45 on the clock here. Time is of the essence, they need to be going in already, they can't wait. And uh, they're gonna come in from that left hand side, the open side, and they're taking a lot of spam here from Captain who's got control of the crate. Stark's just waiting for anyone to jump forward. So Zebasai, as soon as he hears that rocket jump, he goes straight in there and gets the pop off onto Nursey. And TLR are trying to chase forward here, but Reason are just uh, <laughs> 10 steps ahead of them. They know exactly what's coming. They've retreated and they've actually spotted Amps uh, duking into Lunchbox there. Stark going to go and t try and take that fight. But Reason, as long as the clock keeps ticking down and the scores stay the same, are in a winning position. Yeah, AMS is going to get 2v1 on that flank. And again, we see TLR player behind not getting supported by his combo properly. But now Nico just ran behind, kills one skill start, kills Captain. Nico just a one man army on this flank. And surely TLR can put some pressure on now. It's only 4v4, but we need to make something happen. We're going to kill one. Kyler's going to follow that up, but Happy Call's getting really aggressive on him. Kyler's super low, but now Nico behind is just causing a constant distraction for them. And this is slowing Reason down so much.
Yeah, I mean, they're trying to be calculated there, you know, they're sending two players to deal with one. They are making the right decisions, but you just can't always count on being able to deal with Nico. He's one of those uh, <laughs> very deadly, unpredictable players. But right now, Reason are sitting here in a noticeable uber advantage. Like, they could could have pushed. They've waited too long now that they, it won't be worth chasing Nursery, but they're just going to sit back, continue to run that clock down, spamming the point here, rockets and stickies. Trying to discourage Ams. Ams has got a force field of stickies there, cutting off his retreat from Cadis. He's been forced into Z and he gets isolated there. Well played just uh, in that little kind of tactical engagement there. But Taylor want to continue because they know they're up against it. They have to go and make the plays, but their flank has been carved open. A start comes in and kills off Nico behind and he's drawn them all the way back to middle here. Everyone is running out except for Concrete, who's just so far behind enemy lines. <laughs> <laughs> He'd isolated Kados on last, ran out of rockets, takes the melee fight. But Kados comes out on top this time, get revenge for that sunshine frag. Uh, and now we see Reason with a chance to go to middle. I mean, Stark's already there, in fact, but runs into the entire TLR roster. Uh, now Reason are coming in anyway. Tyler's trying to run behind along with Neek. His emphasis trying to slow him down. But TLR are just working their way behind. And again, Reason are forced to come back due to the flank by Kyle in this time with a back cap. They will deny him. Uh, he gets the health pack, but Captain's Rocket takes him down anyway. And now the scouts are all over War and Nursey on the other side of them. Uh, they're trying to take down Happy Cool, but they can't hit him. War eventually gets him, forces him to go down. Ubers are getting very close for both teams right now. And it looks like Reason just don't want to take any more from his chaotic fighting, get straight to last. And they're going to go in. Perm doesn't have quite yet. Perm just needs to stay alive a little bit longer. And he gets it in time. Important pop for Perm going to make it difficult. They lose War here in the tail end of that Uber as well. Captain's going to pick up AMS. Concrete's on the point. He goes down. Reason are finding frags wherever they want. Nico's going to try and run behind, but there's still four players there. This is going to be a big effort even for Nico as Happy Cool starts the cap on CP2. He's now actually got behind him. He wants to chase down the medic. Nurses ran right away up top all by himself going for a back cap play of his own. Um, and now Starks pushing out on Sniper as well. Warhead yeah, swapped off to Sniper as well, going for the collateral kill. Uh, they're all behind him though, he's not going to be able to get anyone. Uh, they're going to focus everyone down. The map ends, 4-2 to two to Reason, and another clean six points for Reason Gaming. Yeah, that was getting really scrappy there. Credit to Zebasai, he hit the, the crucial air shot, I think, to stop that from turning into a, a round loss, just as the uh, TLR were pushing in six versus four. Zebo denied concrete and kind of halved the effectiveness of that push, but reason in control, three out. Well, after they, uh, they did go down 1 0 until the lie, but after that, they figured it out. And uh, TLR didn't seem to stand a chance there. Nico was trying his hardest. Let's take a look at the logs and see what story they tell us. Yeah, they tell a pretty one sided story. Probably a bit more one sided than the scoreline was even with four reason players topping the damage chart. Stark sick from the damage only nico making his way into that uh, really surprising in a game so close to see so many of the heavy classes for tlr damage so low like so low but like yeah, their counterparts I mean, especially when you consider that warrior yeah, is the top damaging demo man this season or used to be well, until after this these logs got loaded yeah <laughs> but yeah kiris again masterful play huge damage numbers like really uh Great understanding of Granary. 22 frags, 6 assists, 16 deaths. Uh, who's playing efficiently? Let me see. Kills assists Happy to cool. death. Happy yeah. cool up top there. Stark, Stark as well, just behind. Stark uh, with 30 frags, but Nico actually out frags Stark. 31 frags there for Nico. But an extra, what, 6 deaths? Yeah, I know it's it's weird to see sort of Nico sort of stand out so much. Do you Get know this what I mean? for a stat, man. Show me, tell me. Nico got more or less a third, well slightly under a third of all frags for his team there. 95 frags on the team stats for TLR. Nico got 31 of those. I think the worst part from that, from TLR perspective, it's not like Nico was, you know, like stealing everyone's frags, you know, like cleaning them up. Most of the frags Nico got were just taking one big ones on the flank. Yeah, like his, uh, his damage shows that. Well, actually, Hathikul and uh, happy go like damage is in there, but yeah, uh, Nico just was a force to be reckoned with, but 
it didn't seem to work out most of the time for TLR. They did actually get two rounds this map, so credit to them, where they failed to get any previously. But again, the team stats kind of show that they were up against it. It was five mids to two in favour of Reason. Reason with an extra 30 frags, more or less. An extra 7k damage? 6k damage, at least. Mm. That's, a, that's a huge gulf there, and got to point the finger at uh, War. Like, Cadis, 320 damage per minute. War, 216. The soldiers as well. When you see Captain and Zebesai both uh, just shy of 300. Mm. And AMS on about 270. Concrete on 200. Yeah, it doesn't bode well. Like You see, even though Zebesai, you know, like, high kills, high deaths. But you know what I mean? He's making those plays. He's going for those trades. It seems like there's a lot of things that go unsaid as well. There were so many moments where it's like... TLR are falling back or something, or you can see Zebesai uh, briefly jumping above them and going behind them, but this isn't this call isn't being made or people aren't listening to it. Nico runs in and dies, even though that information is technically available to the team. It's I feel like uh, the TLR comms are definitely a, f- a few leagues behind reasons, like just in terms of the information, not just like the, the strategy, the planning, but there were so many situations I feel like were unavoidable or they could have reacted to. But that doesn't show up in the logs. Luckily we have the players uh, joining us here and we can pick their brains. Since both teams were here for team comms, our uh, caster's channel has been invaded. Currently we have Amps, Cadis, Nursey, Spermzilla and Zevasai. Good evening. Who wants to talk? Who's feeling positive about that game? Nobody? Not even Reason? <laughs> Cadis? Oh, wow, I think I was going to see a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good. What, what's the question? I wasn't really... Uh, Are you pumped? Was I that pumped. game... Uh, was it a challenge, or was it just, like, another day at the office? No, like, we didn't really play very well. It was really messy games, to be honest. Uh, like, Sunshine was super comfortable, and then we just kind of... I don't know, we just kind of got into this weird, like, routine of trading first and second over and over again, and then we just, yeah, we'd won by the end of that. And Granary was just super messy. I don't really know what the hell was going on on that map. Nico, that was what was going on, man. All your, you know, composure, your planning, your strategy. You can't account for that Nico factor. Uh, he was uh, turning it on. We were trying, like, I know, I was trying, like, a lot of these kind of weird micro plays, like, where we would, I don't know, we'd, like, we'd do something, like, really specific, and I was kind of calling it on the fly, and it was probably a bit too fast tempo for people to keep up with. So we were kind of engineering these weird situations where if we played it perfect, we'd catch them out completely and get like three frags or whatever, but every time we kind of didn't play it quite perfectly, and then we'd end up getting screwed by it. So we were kind of like, I think we were being, well, I was calling like too too much, like, I don't know, mm-hmm. too too much intricate stuff when we could have just played basic and, and won. But I don't know, we kind of felt like we always had the win, so it was fun to try this stuff. Is that a barbed compliment to your teammates? Are they just like remedials that aren't on your level, mate? No, like, because it's not the type of stuff I've been doing for a while. It would be like, we would know we have 10% advantage and we would just power build it and try and, like, you know, trick them into coming to us. And then we'd suddenly pop around the corner and go on them. But whenever we did mm-hmm. this, like, Uber around the corner, uh, because it's been, like, called so, like, last second by me, it would only be, like, me and Perm. And if we had, like, one more guy, we'd kind of win these situations much better. And these were the kind of the times where we gave rounds away because then we got, like, triple back captain and things like that because we did, yeah. It was really messy stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I think we saw a lot of those uh, situations with the Ubers that you're talking about or the pushes where it did seem to end up to be you and Permzilla on occasion. Yeah, it was fun to try, but I think toward the end of the game we stopped doing that stuff and just kind of held out for the win. Amps. Hello. Captain of the Last Resort. Well, I'm going to give you that title for now anyway. Discuss uh, your, your team's performance today. What were you expecting to get out of this game? Uh, I don't think we were expecting to get anything out of it. I think we're happy with the performance we put up, really. Like, uh, I think we even had a chance to take points off them on Granary. Like, uh, it wasn't that one-sided, even though they were in control most of the time. We got some nice plays, thanks to Nico, and played pretty well in terms of deathmatch, I guess. The situation now in the table, then, uh, Reason are going to get a six points there, and they'll be up above TFT Center. But is it? It's likely going to mean that 
TLR can't contest the playoff spot. Are you uh, thinking ahead to next season, Amps? Are you guys being seduced by Overwatch? Are you going to make some roster changes? Or is it just too early to tell? Yeah, I have no idea yet. I think I want to play some more TF2, but I'm not even sure if I want to uh, play with these guys or at this level at all. I, I don't have any plans for myself, and I don't think I the team has any too. plans either. I'm real tired of playing with Nursey, really. He keeps dropping me in Ubers and shit. It's kind of. Oh my god, you guys dropped zero time! <laughs> Uh, you say you don't, you're not even sure if you want to play at this level, Am, so you're thinking, are you burned out? Uh, I might just need some sort of break, I think. Like, I played non-stop since Season 19, and uh, I feel like I want to do something else for a bit, maybe play a bit lower. Go and high. Going back to mid where he belongs. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> a lot of players do that, like they, uh, they take a season out in the wilderness to go and find themselves. Maybe that's what you need, man. Maybe. Nursi, uh, what are your plans? Are you going to continue to compete in Europe? Well, I have either two choices. Uh, for me, I can either get a job and finally sustain a good life, or I can continue playing Team Fortress 2. Yeah. As of right now, I said I have no side that I want to do. It depends if Ams is still on the team. If Ams is not on the team, I'll continue ruining my life playing European Team Fortress 2, but if Ams is still here, I will finally move forward where I need to be. <laughs> I advise you to continue playing competitive Team Fortress 2. It is a career with lots of prospects. Maybe. Matchmaking coming out before uh, the end of 2015, Valve told us, kind of, in an article a few months ago. Let's see what happens then. Uh, Permzilla? And are you with us? Are you going to continue playing TF2 or are you going to become an Overwatch admin? Oh, I'm definitely not going to Overwatch, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I might have to get a job and uh, do real stuff. I'm not sure yet. Oh, disgusting. Reason season continues, though. Uh, you guys will be contesting the playoffs. That's going to be happening on Sunday the 22nd. But then the weekend after that, you guys are heading off to Sweden for the DreamHack Winter Invitational. How pumped are you about that, Primzilla? I'm pretty excited. Like, I'm just excited to go to Sweden as well. Like I've always wanted to go to Sweden, so I think that's going to be just, just as exciting because there's only two for two days. So I'm I'm really excited. Of course, you've uh, you've got an Enzebasai for exactly that reason. Well, no pun intended, but he's going to be your land player. So he's been playing with you throughout the the last few games. Zebasai, how are you feeling about this uh, current roster you're playing with? Oh, well, it's good. We we probably win. We don't, don't practice though. I find it really weird because no teams practice. It was very different before LAN. All the previous seasons, teams at least practice. Now we play like once a week, and Epsilon don't play at all. And I don't know about TLR, but no one practices. Why do you think that is? Well, I don't know. Just people want to play Overwatch. Kiris, can you offer any insight as to this dearth of? practice opponents at the top of Premiership? Um, well, for us, it's like at the start of the season, we just didn't have people available. Like, Rising's schedule was really tight, and Haffy and Captain had days they couldn't play, like, every week. It was like two or three days were ruled out by default because of people's, like, uni work and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And now it's just like I told them I can't be asked to find games anymore, and someone else has to do it, and no one does it. So <laughs> we don't ever have games. That's pretty much it for us. It always seems to be the way, though, like, at the start of the season, pre-season, everybody's pumped, they're playing lows, they're trying to get their teams together, but then towards the end of the season, like I think the overall activity level in the Premiership at least seems to drop off a little bit. Maybe there's less need for practice? Are you guys feeling confident right now? Like You maybe didn't practice as much as you want to, but you, you felt prepared today? I think like we might have practiced more, but the other teams screwed up so bad in the first half of the season. So we basically didn't really have to do much to get like first seed in playoffs. I think if, I don't know if it was like yeah, everyone else just messed up. Like they lost the teams they shouldn't lose to, like all our competitors and stuff. So we kind of got gifted first seed by just doing the bare minimum. So it kind of took away the, the motivation, I guess, to practice a lot. So we'll probably practice more going into like playoffs and and uh, DreamHack and stuff. I think I asked you before a previous interview, but uh, you guys feel like 
dream hike winner is obviously going to be your priority versus the playoffs yeah definitely like there's never been a dream hike winner before maybe there'll be more in the future but like LAN is always better than online but I mean I guess unless gravel pit is actually added practicing for them is basically the same oh yeah that's another uh, hot topic of discussion on the team for his TV slack Saicho looking to add gravel pit to the map pool for DreamHack, I love Gravel Pit as much as the next guy, but the big question is, is there enough time to practice? I think there is. Yeah. Like People are saying that three weeks isn't long enough, but I can't think of a time when anyone has ever practiced for three weeks for like <laughs> for a new map. Like Whenever a new map's been added to a map pool, you play it like three times before the official, and then you just do it. Like, if teams bothered, they could practice it, but they don't want to, so they say it's not enough time. Yeah, my initial reaction was that it's a bad idea, not enough time, but the, at the same time, like, whatever. Yeah, like, I don't think make, make it you, can, you can practice it if you want, or you can just ban it. It's like any other map, really. Like, we probably won't practice all the maps going for DreamHack. We'll probably pick one that we either don't like or aren't very good at, and we'll just never practice it and ban it every time. It just means, like, other teams could do that to Jeep it if they don't want to practice it. So your roster is confirmed then for DreamHack. It's going to be what we've seen today, right? Yeah. For a while, I thought I might have to drop out because of uh, the old RSI issues, but then, mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to be fine. I'm going to hopefully play. Like What's I said, been your, like, your remedy, just not playing as much? Yeah, well, it happens every now and then. Like, I'll just like I'll play or like I won't be careful for a couple of days and then it'll flare up really bad. And sometimes when it flares up, it goes down after a week. Sometimes it goes down the next day. And sometimes it's really bad for like a month or something. That kind of happened last week, and I said, I'll see how I feel uh, this week, and it feels fine now. Well, it kind of hurts a little bit, but it feels like it's getting better, so I think, uh, yeah, I should be there. Uh, I've been told, uh, Vithoft has messaged me here, sorry to just go off on uh, a tangent, but he's saying that the second map for Full Tilt versus LEGO hasn't started yet, so we should cut the interview short and host the second stream. That sounds like a plan to me. So, uh, so Sorry for not continuing with the interviews. There's a bunch of stuff I'd love to run through and tell everyone about real quick, though. Uh, the Razor Arena Game Sense Monthly Mayhem registration is ending in less than two days. It's Wednesday at 18.30 CT. There's only like 12 of 32 spots filled at the minute. Please support that competition. I'm begging you. Of course, we mentioned DreamHack. There is the LEGO DreamHack fundraiser. I'm going to spam that into... Twitch chat as well as the short link. Uh, please go and support them so they can get to DreamHack 2. There's going to be loads of games coming up this week. Pretty much two games every day. Danger Dogs versus The Last Resort tomorrow. Lemmings versus Team Infamous we're going to cast as well. That was one of the perk games from Season 20. It's been called in. Uh, TF2 Center versus Full Tilt on Wednesday. And then we might cast some of the Monthly Mayhem if there's any decent matches. Thursday, Animate versus Reason and perhaps a game that could cause a big upset. Lego versus Serpents. It wasn't even me. High playoffs then starting from 15th onwards. Premiership playoffs, the 22nd. Dreamhack winner, the 27th. And the whole time ETF2 Highlanders Season 9 is going to be running as well. So, so much TF2 action happening at the minute. Keep an eye on teamfortress.tv. Uh, no time for shoutouts, guys. I just want to thank Commander X and David the Win. CX, please close the show out. <laughs> Thanks for everyone who watched, thanks for everyone, all the players and whatnot, and go check out that game, we're going to host it here on TFTP1 as well, it's going to be sick, it's so important for both teams and their playoff dreams, go check it out.